Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 4.1 and 4.2 from laws of motion. Give the magnitude and direction of the net force acting on a drop of a rain falling down with constant speed, a cork of mass 10 gram floating on water, a kite skillfully held stationary in the sky, a car moving with constant velocity of 30 km per hour on a rough road, a high speed accelerate, sorry, a high speed electron in a space far from all material objects and free of electric and magnetic fields. We will discuss here one by one. First of all, a raindrop of rain falling down with constant speed. What we need to write the magnitude and direction of the net force acting on. Here, F net is equal to 0. Why the F net is equal to 0 means the rain drop falling down with constant speed it is moving down with constant speed suppose say the weight acting on this one is mg and upwards we have up thrust and one more force viscous force both are acting so the resultant uh, effect is making the object moving with zero acceleration or with constant speed. So therefore, F net is equal to zero. Coming to B, a cork of mass 10 gram floating on water. Here also, F net is equal to 0 because suppose say it is water a car case floating here in this case the weight acting downwards and up thrust will act upwards. So, overall this weight is balanced by up thrust. So, F net is equal to 0. Coming to C. A kite skillfully held stationary in the sky. In this case also net force acting on the kite is equal to 0 because if you are taking the kite is suppose say like this and uh, here the force exerted by air on the kite suppose say upwards and tensile force acting along the string, the tensile force acting along the string will be downwards. So, tension is balanced by force due to air or force due to air is balanced by tension. That is why net force is equal to 0. Coming to B. A car moving with a constant velocity of 30 km per hour on a rough road. Here also net force acting on the car is 0. Suppose say the car is moving forward with constant velocity 30 km per hour. So, acceleration is equal to 0. 
So net force is equal to zero. That means here two forces. One force is exerted by the engine to make it to move forward, and one more force will be friction acting on the car. Opposite in direction, same in magnitude. So the resultant force is zero, resultant acceleration is zero, and the body is moving with constant velocity. Coming to G, a high-speed electron in space far from all the material objects and free from electric and magnetic fields. That means here it is free from all the material objects. Far from all the material objects means gravitational force is zero and uh, free of electric and magnetic fields. That means there is no electric force acting on that one and there is no magnetic force acting on that one. So F net is equal to zero on the electron. Coming to four point two, a pebble of mass zero point zero five kilogram is thrown vertically upwards. Give the direction and magnitude of the net force on the pebble. A during its upward motion, during its downward motion, at the highest point where it is momentarily at rest. Do your answers change if the pebble was thrown at an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal direction? Ignore air resistance. Coming to the solution here. In the first case, during its upward motion, so there is a pebble of mass 0.05 kilogram is thrown vertically upwards. Give the direction and magnitude of the net force. Here, its weight will be acting always vertically downwards. So, therefore, net force F net is equal to weight of the pebble. That is nothing but m into g. That value is zero point zero five into G value. If you are taking ten, that is equal to zero point five newton, and its direction is vertically downwards. Coming to B. During its downward motion, even though if it is moving downwards, the weight acting on this pebble is mg only. So F net is equal to weight of the pebble is equal to m into g. So we have zero point zero five into ten. It is zero point five newton vertically downwards. And coming to C, at the highest point where it's momentarily at rest. So at a highest point. Momentarily at rest means there the speed is zero, but acceleration will be there. There is no but acceleration due to gravity, and net force also will be there. So the F net is equal to its weight. That is also nothing but zero point zero five into ten, zero point five newton. It is also x. Vertically downwards, 
and do your answer change if the pebble was thrown at an angle 45 degrees with a horizontal direction in this case the answer is no the above answers won't change even if the pebble is thrown with an angle 45 degrees the answers won't change whatever the answers we got it about the same because the horizontal component of velocity remains constant that u cos theta remains constant thank you